Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another one of my Mythic Mobs tutorials. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a hostile passive mob. So this is, um, it's kind of complicated. We're going to play with some new things today which are going to be target selectors. Haven't covered this since my Getting Started series and I've never really had a detailed tutorial of it. Sadly this one won't be so detailed, but this will help a lot of you because uh, many of you have been asking lately Actually, like a lot of you have been asking lately, how can I make a hostile uh, passive mob? Like, you know, a passive mob, but make it violent, you know, and attack players. Well, today I'm going to show you a workaround because you cannot directly do that. So what you're going to need is you're going to need libs disguises for this. Um, and you're going to need the appropriate disguise files, depending on what game version you're using. If you're using 1.14 or higher, I think even 1.13, you should be fine with the latest versions of Protocol Lib and Libs Disguises. Uh, if not, you might have to look back on other videos. I know it changed over time and I guess I'm not currently up to date with what all works, but uh, it should theoretically all work the same right now. So let's go ahead and get, in, uh, get on into it. So somebody asked me, and I'm going to cover this one because I actually have this on my own server is how can I make a pig be more like a boar, you know, make it more make it more hostile? Well, I have an answer for you. So first we're gonna type in, uh, we'll type wild boar, I guess. Wild boar, type. Now here is where we're gonna have to change things up. We're gonna type in zombie. Okay, that seems a little off, right? Well, it's gonna have to be, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Now, um, if you like how much damage it does and how much health it has, you know, uh, you don't have to type in health or damage, but it definitely helps to. What we're going to type here is uh, wild boar. That way we can see what it's called. Now, what we're going to need here, we're going to do disguise type. Oops, sorry. Disguise type. There we go. And pig. Essentially, this is all we really need, but we're gonna go over some other stuff too because I'm gonna go and do this. Oh wait, actually before I do, we need to add some options too. So options, prevent other drops, true. Prevent item pickup, true. Uh, you don't really have to do prevent other equipment because um, if it does spawn with other equipment, it will be hidden by the disguise, which means you could have some, uh, you know, wild boar that are actually tougher than others, but that's entirely up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and add um, prevent random equipment to true anyway for the sake of this tutorial. And one thing, depending on which version you're using, uh, you might want to add silent. Uh, I mean, in my version of Libs Disguises, pig noises will automatically take over for the zombie. Uh, however, I do know in past versions this isn't the case. So you might have to, like, set that to true and then, you know, set up some, like, I don't know, some sound skills or whatever. But next, before we get into that, we're going to do something else. Because what I'm about to show you here is we're in survival now. And if I reload here, mm, mm, spawn wild boar. Actually, before I do, uh, you're definitely going to want this. Prevent sunburn. True. This is going to be essential for this, trust me. So make sure you add prevent sunburn as well. Now we're going to reload, and now we're going to spawn in our boar. Wild boar. Okay, so as you can see, it's attacking me. Like, what if I don't want it to attack me right away, you know? What if I want it to be passive? Well, there is a way to fix that. So what we're going to do now, we're going to type in, if I can get to it, AI target selector. First, we're going to hit uh, type zero, clear. This zero means that's what it's going to spawn with. It will not do anything whatsoever or target anybody uh, when it spawns. Next, we can do um, one. We'll do hurt by target, actually. So if we reload now and spawn him, as you can see, he's just kind of looking at me and he's just walking around. 
Even though he's a zombie, we changed his AI to not attack me unless I attack him first. So, if I attack him now, now he's attacking me. Let me go ahead and heal here. So as you can see, that's pretty much how you make a hostile passive mob. And I'm going to go ahead and show you now, too, that this actually works with other mobs as well. So if we type, like, cow, uh, reload, wild boar. Again, it's not going to attack me because its AI is set to not attack me. But if I attack it, it's going to come at me and start hitting me. So, you know, do what you will with that. There's, there's actually so much you can do with that. So if that helps you guys out, you know... Uh, actually, it should help you guys out. So that's all I got for you today. Pretty quick and short tutorial, but uh, you know it's a pretty easy thing to do. I, I hope that guys, or sorry, I hope that answered you guys' questions. Uh, if you have any others, make sure to hop on over into my Discord channel. We have a pretty active community, and they're all willing to help, at least as far as I've seen. So make sure to jump on over into there. Link will be in the description below. Uh, you know, if this video inspired you, make sure to like, comment down below if you have anything else you want to have covered, and subscribe for more future content. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.